man for 20 years. They're over, uh, uh, Centurion uh, is over maybe 50 to 100 men. They don't ever get married, so they adopt these people that are their slaves and they become like family members. Okay? Then once they retire, they can do whatever they want. But they have to serve 20 years before they can get married. They can have some concubine and do that. But the Roman soldiers, despite the atrocities we heard that they performed upon these countries, they were the most disciplined soldiers. You know, they knew how to obey authority. Come on, we got to give them their props where they are, right? So this servant was so dear to him, and this centurion was different. He accepted the God of Israel, even being a Gentile. That's why the elders went out to them, because he had built them a synagogue. This man would take his whole salary, yearly salary, and build them a synagogue. That's why they respected him. And that's why he understood. He just said, Jesus sent a word, and my servant shall be healed. But by his actions of a go, come, do, so we got to look at verses healed versus being whole. Healed just means okay, you don't have you you don't have the symptoms anymore, but I can still see the results of what you had. But being whole means I don't even see the results of what you had. Amen. I don't see nothing. You know, I was going to bring out the story about the ten lepers when you know ten went out and uh, you know nine. I mean, one came back. But those ten went out healed, but you could still see the results. They still had a missing nose, they still had missing fingers, and you knew they once had leprosy. But that one that turned back, he was made whole. He did, everything came back. Because he came back to honor the one who healed him and made him whole by his faith. Amen? But one of the things I've noticed, like I said, when you look at that word, go come do, my question to you is, are you willing to get a go come do attitude? Get a go-come-do attitude, what I'm talking about. When it comes to this ministry, get a go-come-do attitude. When it comes to servanthood, get a go-come-do attitude. When it comes to being honored and doing what you need to do without question, be a go-come-do attitude. When I came here and I talked to the pastor, the first thing I wanted to know was the order of this church. How do you want me to present myself? How do you want me to come? I wasn't coming with Brother Warren's program. I'm coming here to submit myself to the man of God and the woman of God. Amen? This is not Brother Warren Red's program. This is Pastor Patterson and his leading by the Holy Ghost. And the members need to understand that too. And the children need to understand that too as they follow their parents. Amen? Amen. Now watch this. The word go in the Greek has 30 different meanings in it. So we can look up something in the Greek. We just think it's an English word. But in the Greek it has 30 different meanings. Watch this. Um, the Greek word is periomeo. To travel, remove, or depart, to go away, to go forth, to go one's way, to go up. Now watch this meaning. To make a journey and take a journey and walk with me. To make a journey and take a walk with me. That's the word go when it's capitalized. Amen? Now the word come has 39 different meanings in the Greek. Okay? And it's echoomia, which is in contrast with the Greek word hekio which means to arrive or be present. It literally and figuratively means go, come light, come accompany, come appear, come bring, come enter, come fall out, come go, right? Come next, come pass, come resort. Now watch this. The best one I like for this particular one is be set. Come be set. Then the word do, be set, come be set, okay? Then the word do has nine well, it has seven different meanings, all right? And it's pretty echo. And what this word is, it also signifies to make or to do that is to adopt a way of expressing by act the thoughts and feelings. It stands for a number of such acts chiefly to make, produce, create, cause, for example, to abide, appoint, bear, bring, cause, commit, and just watch this one, and to shoot forth. Mm. Y'all didn't catch that. To shoot forth. Watch this. So God is telling you, when he first brought you to this ministry, put a little trouble on me there. Bring me up a little bit more trouble. I got a lot of bass on that. Um, when God is telling you, when he first told you, and you cried out to the Lord, he said, Lord, I need help. I need a Savior. And he said, okay, what do you do except Jesus Christ? Now I want you to go to this ministry. Right? In other words, come walk and take a journey with me. Come to this ministry, sit under this man of God, learn the word of God. Now, come and be set. Sit right here and learn. Get obedient. Stop being disobedient. Learn humility. 
And then after you get all this together, then you can do shoot forth into your ministry. Do you get it? Come walk a journey with me. Be set, and then you can do what I called you to do.